And then rank one can be its own thing, because rank one is long. Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. It's a big one. It might be the first time I'll watch you die. That, that might actually happen, yeah. You have not died at all in recording. I haven't. I'm going to say this again right now, that I'm sure people are going to see this. Mm -hmm. He has not died at all in recording. I have died not even once. I got close once. I don't have time um, for guessing games. In that parking lot fight, I only had like four or five squares left, I think. Yeah, that was close, but you did it. But I did it. There's a third Ashinkazic point. Gasp. Akashic. Whatever. Yeah. There's a third Sephardic point. Oh no. Well, there's nothing new in the apartment. Uh, we didn't pick up any gifts last level, so... Might... Oh, there's a new wrestling move, though. Funny thing about these wrestling moves. Sometimes you use them in normal fights, but these actually teach you... the specific, like, unique wrestling move for bosses. So if you do not read the magazines, and you catch up to whatever boss that magazine is for, you can't wrestle them. <laughs> I was actually practicing the rest of the boss fights like a week ago, and I hadn't. I was just speeding through just the boss fights, and I hadn't read any magazines, and I couldn't wrestle the bosses. I was really confused. Ha! That's great. Mm -hmm. You've heard well, that means you're guaranteed to see them magic. once, right? As long yeah. as you destroy. wrestle actually, the bosses. I actually missed the wrestling with Captain Vladimir, but I'm not sure if you actually can wrestle him because he floats. Yeah, how would you? You have to jump up there and get him. Yeah, I don't know. Also, the other thing is, I've been wondering, the two boss fights with Shinobu, both of them can be days like you can wrestle them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to use one of those homebrew codes to play that fight with Travis to see if he can actually wrestle him. You should. Also, I always wondered if um, uh, Vladimir counted as an Akashic point. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like he should be one because he's a, one of the stranger bosses. He's out of time. Yeah. Does, does that count as being a ghost? I don't know. Whoops, I'm accidentally in the future. Help. Help, I'm just floating. Help. Gonna fight this moon man. Nobody on earth dresses like this. <laughs> What's a dancing cat? Never heard of such a thing. It's 1959. <laughs> 1959, the time before cats. <laughs> they weren't discovered yet because we hadn't been to space yet. What's up? Come on, man. Let's see. I think there's just a little bit more clothes left, possibly. Definitely t shirts. No more, no more jackets or, or sunglasses or any other stuff. Just might be t-shirts that are left. Oh, no, there's one new one. It is a silhouette of Travis himself. Well, I, I'm already looking at Travis. Why would I want to look at double the Travis? Double the Travis. Yeah, it's the only new shirt this time. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, should we change jackets or anything? Now nah, let's go. Okay. Let's finish our ghost busting duty. How does a ghost get into the UAA? I don't know. Maybe they haunt a list? Is there a special goat appli ghost application, like date of death in place of date of birth? Maybe. Maybe when they die, they have like an o organ donor's card, but he just puts them as an assassin. I don't know how that works exactly, but... That'd be really embarrassing if you turned out to be a really boring ghost. I do taxes! Whoa! I'm a tax Alice ghost! Twilight. Travis touchdown, correct? <laughs> you sure you don't have a flamethrowing axe or anything? Well, I've, I've got this uh, adding machine. <laughs> I've got That's... a green visor! Whoa! I guess you could sharpen the visor, headbutt a dude, really Maybe. sharp. You could throw it like your cut man. Yeah. Yeah. And then run over there to pick it up again, because <laughs> it's a visor. This isn't a boomerang visor. You're asking way too much of a ghost. So yeah, walking. It's a great level. This level has one of my like top three tracks 
in the game, and it, it doesn't come until, like, the very end of the level. Um, it's a good one, though. But until then... So, so if the first points were, uh, Resident Evil and, uh, Metal Gear, uh, uh, homages... Right. What, what are we playing here? I'm at right. Point three. I am really not sure, actually. This is the only one where I can't really tell what it's supposed to be. Unless it's something really obscure, like... Shit, I don't know, River City Ransom? You know, I was gonna say something like that with the side-scrolling, but only if dudes popped out. Yeah, there's no dudes There's no that, dudes in the side-scrolling. There, there's just your face on a building. I'm invincible, why switch lightsabers, you can't touch me. He didn't even try, though. That's... I know, he just backed up. Whoa, I'll give you some space, dude. It's the warrior's way. Yeah. Honor among killers. Oop, that pole's getting in the way. So this is a level where you should give no shits about saving your ecstasy and just use it to kill people constantly because there are many, 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 many men in this level. Yes, there, there are. But at least it's not a giant empty parking lot. Either. Yeah, you're constantly progressing through this level, at least. Um, the scenery's kind of the same the whole way through. You go through some buildings and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not just an endless parking lot fight. Even if in absolute terms, it's not different at all from the parking lot fight, there's still an illusion of progress by having <laughs> yeah. to go to the left. Yeah. Oh no! Got myself in like a little corner there. Oh, it's great when you get them all grouped up though with this lightsaber. <laughs> yes. I love it. You just start spinning. And everybody gets pain. Pain mm -hmm. everywhere. Super bleeding laser pain. Oh, I was about to wrestle him, but he kicked me out of it. Thanks a lot, you jerk. You doing your vest. That's a vest for jerks, you jerk vest wearer. A jerk. black a black vest with a yellow shirt, get out. Come on. You're not businessman Charlie Brown. What are you <laughs> thinking? Uh, this level also has the power-ups uh, come fairly often. Not as much as the parking lot, but so more than normal. One thing I wish that was different about this level is that they started off with music right away. That's something I've noticed with, like, a lot of the levels is the first, like, zone has no music, then the second zone does have music. Right. It's been pretty consistent with that, and it's weird. <laughs> is that the first time in the whole game we've had the big explosion, 777? No, we've had it a couple times. Really? It's probably uh, the fourth time, maybe? Is that old men in cars? Yes. Now that all the men are dead, I am permitted to open that fence. But first, can I break this barrel? Well, the yep. last one was clearly carrying the key. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at this. This is slightly taller than Travis. And chain link. There's no way to get around this. I did appreciate the physics objects inside that barrel. Yeah. We spent thousands in that Havoc license just for this. <laughs> Oh wow, how did I miss the guy in front? The guy was aiming to kill. Wow, alright. Oh, I just got t t t tiger time. That's what it's actually called. That's my favorite time! I actually think that's pizza time. And then tiger time. Have you ever had a tiger pizza? No. Oh, let me tell you. Is that a pizza in the shape of a tiger? A tiger that delivers the pizza to you? Tiger brand pizza? It's a pizza made with the meat of tigers. Oh, I missed a treasure chest way back there. I hope that wasn't a present. This is a present, though. Very expensive. Huh. Do you think that single treasure chest that I missed is a, a present? Probably. <laughs> Should I get it? Let's go! 
Let's run for it, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> it's better be a present. It's a present! Gotcha. It was the killer collection for, for Mimi, the dream. Gotcha. The dream boss fight. Oh, so it's a good okay. thing I went back. Yes. So, uh, anything exciting happened your way lately? Uh, well, I'm sick with some s strange illness. <laughs> That's fascinating. We had the NATO conference, uh, <laughs> over here. Yeah, how was that with all like, the... Right pops? outside my door. Yeah, that was great. Uh... Anybody get tear gassed? Uh, no, no, they put on the masks and they took the masks off, and I think they put on the masks and took them off again a second time, but the gas never uh... came out. Which is good, because that's when all hell would have broken loose. <laughs> yeah. I think the funniest thing that happened uh, was all the signs on the street saying LSD, no access. Because <laughs> Lakeshore Drive, you, you say the name for a reason. Mm -hmm. You can get a bigger sign, please. I think it's hilarious how terrified people were of all the protests. Yeah. Like, nobody went to work Monday. I'm off... Wait, no, today's Saturday. I got off yeah. yesterday. I got a free day off just because I went into work Monday. Were you literally the only person that came in aside from, like, higher-up people? Or? I was the only person in my department that came in, wow. except for my boss. And people were telling me, you know, you should really stay home. I'm like, no. <laughs> Why? Like, even paid time off, like... Who cares? Mm -hmm. I, I went out and watched it. There are pictures of me just sitting out on the sidewalk. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's basically a parade. Just shoutier and no one's throwing candy. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you got a killer collection for Vladimir. What is that? Is it like a orbital satellite on your shelf? I don't know what that would be, because it doesn't really have a weapon, per se. Maybe it is the satellite. So now the scenery changes a little bit, we start crawling through some shitty old buildings. Um, this hallway here has so many men in it, because there are lots of doors and they'll just... People will just start shooting out of the doors. And it's also like lots of chainsaw men too near the end. That's the worst. At least you don't have a time limit, you just kill everybody. Yeah, and thankfully it's such a tight hallway that the 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 uh this lightsaber is good for just hitting them no matter where they are at. You know it's a pretty good movie, the five year engagement. Haven't seen it. It's alright. Hmm. It's one of those romantic comedies that is actually realistic to life. Right. I'd say about 75% of the time. <laughs> right. It's I... not per- it's no Morning Glory, but it's close. Mm -hmm. And it's I... a lot funnier than Morning Glory, so there's that. Oh, that's good. I have not seen too many romantic comedies that I would like to see again. Unfortunately, I've seen lots of romantic comedies, like, against my will. <laughs> uh... I saw... Oh god, what was it? last one I had to see was last year or the year before? Thankfully, it's been a while since I've been forced to see one. It might have been the latest Meet the Fockers movie. Uh... So yeah, that, that was not a great time seeing that movie and everybody busting in gut over Ben Stiller sticking what's-his-face in the dick with a needle because uh, he needed it to because he took too many boner pills. That's not even how boner pills work. I know. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm not a pharmacist. He, he took many of them, and it was like, a, the, it was like a part of the stupid plot where it's like Ben Stiller's like, you know, lots of movies with the, the main character has like a big account he has to worry about, and at the end it's like, oh no, am I going to get this big account, this big deal? If I don't, I lose my whole job, and everybody goes under, and my wife doesn't love me anymore. And for this, it was, um, it was testing these boner pills and there's something okay, bad about well, that if they're experimental they were black market boner they were, pills, they were experimental that might be how they, work. they were experimental uh boner pills 
And <laughs> I'm what's pretty this? sure taking too many boner pills <laughs> would like hurt your heart, but it would not give you a super boner of titanium. <laughs> no, that was the other thing. The, the guy had heart problems, so okay. it was like, right. it was like, help, I have heart problems. But they weren't really focusing on the heart problem. They were focusing on the help. I've had a raging giant erection for literally 20 hours. Help me, Ben Stiller. Poke my dick with this needle. And so they did, and then a little child saw it. And then while the little child was like in an interview for like an advanced school, it was like, hey, why don't you start drawing something? And so he drew Ben Stiller sticking his grandpa on the dick with a needle, and everybody loved it, and I hated it because it was the most predictable joke. It was it was like five minutes later too. It was like, oh, you know, he's gonna draw the grandpa with a dick and a needle, or a needle in his dick, All not right, the other way. Here's, you know, what's worse than that? The help. The help? The help. It is not a romantic comedy, but there is one joke in it. They tell this joke a hundred times. What is the joke? Now, now, the, the, the Help is a movie that is primarily, you might think it's about uh, racism and maids in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. It is not. Okay. It is about bathrooms, and it is oh. about pie. Oh. That is all the movie's about. There is a point where one of the maids goes to the bathroom inside a pie. Oh. This become th this is her biggest uh, um, contribution to the plot. It is oh. the defining feature of the character. Oh. And this goddamn pie gets mentioned every ten minutes in the whole movie. Ah, great. Also, that, that music track I like a lot just started playing. <laughs> Yay! It is called Desperado, I think? Back That's to the called. game. Much Back better. Back to the game. Yeah. Fuck the hell. Before watching The Help last night, I took a friend out to dinner for her birthday, because it was a few days ago. Okay. And somehow we got to a point in conversation where she said she would very much like to die in the apocalypse. Like, really? that is her preferred way of going out, is in the end of the universe itself. Well, it's a one of a time event, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Oh, it's, we're on a playground now, a really gross playground. I guess maybe this is supposed to be sort of final fighty, even though it's in 3D. Yeah. I don't see how the boss fight ties into that at all. Yeah, the boss fight doesn't really mimic the like parody type or homage thing at all. Or it's a good boss fight though. Maybe we're still getting what exactly it's supposed to be about wrong. Maybe. But, but I can't think of anything she'd fit with other than No More Heroes. Yeah, I don't know. She is very No More Heroes boss, so probably, spoiler, it's a woman. So prepare yourselves for a song. Yeah. Oh, fully charged. Don't want this, though. I want the fast ones again. Let's go in this gross little bathroom here and hopefully not contract anything. Seriously, everything that helps is about a bathroom. Hmm. Ugh. There's a scene where a woman is humiliated by having a whole bunch of people dump their used mm. toilets for a charity donation on her front lawn. Hmm. Well. Oh, we both saw Avengers. We did. That was enjoyable. It was. I was really afraid it was going to be a huge clusterfuck because there's so many characters, but they all got pretty proper amount of time. Could have been a lot better. Eh. Kind of hollow, but it was good. It was fun to watch. Yeah, it was fun. It didn't feel long, <laughs> which usually happens when I watch superhero movies. Pizza. Big battery. Doesn't matter. No other treasure chests. Okay, good. I got everything. <laughs> Saw dark shadows. That was a mistake. Hmm. It wasn't so bad. It was mm. just really uneven. It had like five different yeah, tones going on and couldn't pick one. Huh. Yeah, like in the ending, the when it went for like full on the haunted house, walls are bleeding, that was the best part because it stuck with one thing, it just stayed there. Right. And that was good. You just had to get all the way to the ending for that to happen.
Mm -hmm. Oh, I should mention the all the photos this lady is throwing into the barrel. Uh, somebody actually pulled the textures out. Most of them are blobs, but there's one that's actually something. It is some family pictures and also pictures of her with uh, the rank four boss. So they were friends or maybe related. Honorable, I like that in a woman. I've seen a lot in my journey up the ranks. An endless cycle of violence, now broadcast as a spectator sport. Why, Travis? Why do so many assassins join if we are all going to end up killing each other in the end? Does it really matter why? To me, it does. It matters more. I don't know, Kimmy Howell. You sure grew up. We've mm. all become trapped, don't you see? Addicted to the violence, to a life in the shadows. Once we join the ranks, we can never get out. Don't be stupid. If you get tired of the battles, just fucking quit. But that's why we all want to fight you. To learn your secret. Yeah, I'm just looking at this lady and it doesn't, doesn't seem like an homage to anything. <laughs> you are the She's crownless just, no more heroes, lady. The one who got out. May, maybe it's the whole level is a callback to No More Heroes 1. Maybe. <laughs> it might be the case. You are the <laughs> that's my vote, actually. Yeah, homage to No More Heroes 1, there we go. Release me from this cycle. Free us all in a crimson sea. I mean, the cutscene is even all about the first game. You asked yeah. For it. Bring it on! And she's covered in, in beam katanas. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. Literally covered in. This yep. one is hard, but fun. Well, yeah. It's not like bullshit hard. However, when she does throw lightsabers at you, if you don't roll properly, she can stun lock into them into them repeatedly. Yeah, I'm fully aware. Yeah. Uh, if you get close to her, though, you you can bait her into slamming into the ground, which lets you easily hit her. Um, after a while, she'll get fed up with that, and she'll get on her feet. I'm get really that charge attack. confused about her design. Actually, like when she goes up high, what what is that scorpion tail she's riding? Yeah, I don't know. Really Where does that sure. go? Where does that come from? Well, she's... I mean, she's got, like, this backpack, so maybe there's another... Actually, no, I can see it a little. Uh... Oh, okay, It's yeah. just hanging close... It's hanging low to the ground. She rolls a lot, also. She's a very quick character. She is. She's... She'll combine... Like, that. Like the little leg she uses to stand on, she'll swing that around as a charge attack. It comes out pretty fast, but... She flashes right before she uses it, so... Well, I think the idea that she's related to Margaret is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Just because they see, they're they similar, but very different in complementary ways. Like, the way they fight, even. Yeah. Because instead of a gun, she has, like, a million swords. Yeah. Oh, uh, also, the very first trailer for No More Heroes 2, where it was just a really short promo thing, this was the lady they showed right at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. And like, uh, they're both very quick, but she's using her speed to come in and cut you while Margaret uses it to run away and shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got hit by lightsaber. Here comes the pain! <laughs> All pain. So oh, much God. pain. Oh, no, this is the worst. I think the only way I managed to win this fight, my first playthrough, was doing that shake so you stop dying thing over and over and over again. Oh, really? Yeah, the thing is, is that it really sucks when you get stunlocked, but they aren't too hard to dodge. It's just when you make the mistake and you do get hit, it is pain town. All Welcome kinds of punishment. Yeah. Welcome to pain town. Your, your, uh, your pain has made Timmy fall asleep. You should be yeah. ashamed. This boss is actually fairly easy to dark step. It's just she has a, a lot of combos, so it's hard to tell if she's using the one that you can dark step. The timing on it is pretty forgiving, at least. I don't know if you actually be able to do it, but I hope so. Otherwise, it's egg on your face. Oh. Uh, uh. Also, stuff in this roof, roof that you can break too. And these little antennas and shit. Satellite dishes. There we go. One time, uh, wasn't my first playthrough. 
I think I was playing on Bitter, maybe? Um, I somehow triggered her to constantly roll and just not stop rolling. And she eventually just rolled into and constantly backflipping into her corner. Uh, and I was just able to wail on her. That is great. Yeah. It's the only time I've seen that happen, though, so I don't know if... I just can't figure out what triggers it again or what, but she was spazzing out. And the first hit of her slower combo here is, makes you stumble so that she can hit you again. And you can't dodge out of it. Unless she decides to roll away for no reason. Oh, she just did. Oh man, we just rolled in unison. So what you really gotta do is not play this game for like a month after uh, beating Vladimir. And then you wait for her to kill the number one assassin. Right. Oh, yeah. she decided to start throwing- oh, she- At least her lightsabers knocked me back into the pizza. <laughs> oh, this is the worst when this happens. There we go. Like, there's a sound cue and everything when she throws these, so... It'd be better if she didn't hit you into the pizza, because then you could've waited until you got, like, maximum damage yeah. from throwing. Yeah. Oh. Try to knock her off the roof, get a ring out. I wish she could, but nope. Want a wrestler too, but she does not get dazed particularly often. It's okay, you can wrestle the next one. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Oh, stop rolling, please. <laughs> she sure is coming at you! Yeah. Oh, dodged a little too early there. It's as if she wants you dead or something. That's weird. I like the spaceman, I think he was just confused. <laughs> <laughs> Poor spaceman. Poor spaceman. But yeah, you, you can, um, her worst attack is, is just throwing her katanas at you. But it, as long as you stay close to her, she, she, she will almost never get back up in her little stand. Get on her high horse. Yeah, she only ever does that if you get far away from her. And if she actually, she every once in a while, if you're close, she'll get back on the stand. But she will just immediately do that ground slam again. Right. So it's not much of a problem. You just roll away and take the free hits. Yeah, oh. Or she will backflip a ton to get away from you. <laughs> yeah, when she's on her stand, you can just wail on her. You can do it! You can do it! I really wish there was a way uh, they put in that you could like have your roulette wheel going in the middle of a boss fight. Yeah, there, there's a um, homebrew code for that. Like, how does it trigger? Does it count like busting breakable objects? No, something? it's actually um, it map. You hold down the C button and then you press a different button, the D pad, and it turns on the different power ups for you. It's more like a toggle r rather than just turning this roulette on for you. Oh. Yeah. But it does give you instant tiger button, so that's pretty fun. That's that is great. I, I think it'd be cool if like every time it gave you a finishing prompt, it just popped up a roulette. Right. Yeah. Even if it never activated, just a chance would be mm -hmm. cool. And I got it. You are incredible. Everything I hoped for. Tell me your name. Promise me you won't forget. There once was an assassin named Alice. I won't forget, Alice.
Oh, also, once I didn't do the, uh, the little QTE finishing move just to see what would happen. Yeah. Uh, it just constantly gets slower and slower and slower <laughs> until you actually do it. Soviet! You have to wait like a. S I waited because the, like the second. noise also gets like higher pitched the longer you wait, and eventually it turns into like a dog whistle that you can barely hear. And That's it horrible. took like a it took like a See solid that. two minutes before yeah. everything stopped Was moving. That but it, for Look a while, it looks like it's just gonna get we slower and slower for alive. eternity Even if we are until you do it. Doesn't matter if it's a video game, movie, drama, anime, manga, we're alive! Well, no, because People those all are fictional. Yeah. This isn't a game. But you just mentioned games! I'm so confused, Travis! Oh god. What is happening? I bet you've already forgotten she existed. Same way She's right there! That's why I'm tearing down the UAA! Are you done bitching? You could never shut down the association. Fighting to be the best is human nature. It's evolution. Who are we to try and stand in its way? Fuck that. Evolution, huh? I want to be a hero by my own Now stance. there's a movie. To wake up. Mm, yeah. Take your own goddamn advice. Let's fight aliens with uh, head and shoulders. Oh yeah. Completely forgot about that part. A long time since I've seen evolution. Well, thanks for coming to movie chat. Hooray! Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's that. That is that. Let's see. I guess I'll save over that one.